So this replay is for Ibby. They are a gold three bout plat one player. Just looking for some general tips that, that we can help them out with. They are a PS5 player, so the it is going to be a little awkward here with the setup, but we'll make it work. Um, right off the bat, this will be very weird controls. The kickoff's good. I mean, maybe in general we'd like to see more of a maybe a flip in there just to conserve some boost. But you know, we get there. It's fine. You have a good 50 there. Let's actually turn this sound down. It's so loud. And then, okay, so right off the bat, we have really good control here. This is what I like to see from golds and uh, plats, right? Get that boost, and we cut this ball infield, which is just, you know, it's just being aggressive. It's taking the attack to our opponents. That is what you want. But overall, good. Again, we'll incorporate a flip later. That, that's something that I think is important. I like the aggression and trying to go for the, you know, the kickoff goal. Um, just not enough power, and that's because we didn't have boost off the kickoff, right? If we had boost off the kickoff, maybe we can find a way to generate more power on this ball. Or find a way to maybe even control it instead of trying to just take a shot, but it worked out. A very non-committal challenge, honestly. I, the fact that you didn't flip into this kind of just shows you know you have a you can recover quickly so I, I i like this challenge you actually end up getting a clean beat so let's take a touch of control Ooh, let's not just flip into it randomly let's take a touch to control that to the middle right so i mean we come here like right here we should not be jumping we should be finding a way to get underneath this ball take a touch and then put it towards our net their net right and you're gonna get a lot of goals just from keeping control of the ball and touching it like this uh, but if we just throw away possession, then with the side flip, you know, we don't get much from that. Oh, and be careful which way you're turning upfield. We don't want to turn upfield and then make it so that we're deeper than the ball. Because that's when we get counterattacked and scored on easily, right? If our opponent had better car control, they would have scored the goal on us, on us there, I think. Good. Let's actually go back and look at this defensive rotation for you here. So we have good job picking up big boost and honestly i love it it's great it's a great defensive rotation put yourself in a great spot to actually go for this ball now we're gonna slow it down yes we're not being challenged slow down let's let's wait and see what uh what he does and then we get the hook shot beautiful oh my gosh ibby that is beautiful play at gold to plat our opponent's not challenging us at all. Just vibe, chill out, set up a good play. You, you let that ball inch so close to their net, and they still aren't challenging you. And then you just hook shot them really hard. That is great, great, great. Punishing them for being way too passive. That is very nice. I have a feeling just from that, just from that, I am already going to have a feeling that throughout this replay, we're going to see some amazing decisions from you. And I think it's going to come down to actually just having more car control and just being better mechanically. That is my prediction for this replay, just after that play. I don't think it's going to be a decision-making thing. I think it's going to be... Uh, I think it's going to be all about mechanics. And here's our first example. Just awkward off the, off the wall. Where's awkward off the wall? I love challenging that because you should be challenging that. It just, uh, you got lost on the wall, it looks like. And I think that's fine. I think that's okay. You know, that comes from playing more. Just understanding how the walls work a little better. It wasn't like a game sense mistake or a mistake in general. I even like this. I even like, you know, trying to push the play a little bit. And then b bailing out when you realize, oh, this isn't going to work. Now you're in a pretty good spot to do what you need to do to save this ball. Good, let's not overcommit. Boom, yes, good challenge. And then play it past them. Yeah, get it! Yes, good score. 
Obviously, that's going to get more clean the, long, the more we play, but overall, very, very good. Good kickoff. Nice readjustment. Yes. Ibby, you're doing so many things right right now, and it's very nice. You actually just went out of ball cam knowing there's no danger, and just lined yourself up with little boost pads just so you could have that little extra boost. And then you flip back to ball cam at the perfect time. That's... That's not something we see from Golds or Plats a lot. I feel like that's something that, we, that gets lost on them. And then just a good defensive play. Your defense is solid. Here we go. Uh, I think this was a, was a bad decision, right? As we're coming around this ball right here, we need to be able. We need to be sure we're watching our teammates, right? There's a lot of cues we can get on what our team or our opponent's going to be doing, right? We gotta be watching them. If we're gonna go for this aerial, it's gonna be a pretty high risk play because we are on their side of the field. If something goes wrong, it's probably gonna bounce off the wall and head towards our net, which is not things we want to happen. So things we need to do is watch them, see if we can jump before them. So we wanna line this up, but also be cognizant of what they're doing. You can actually hear them jump way before you decide to jump. So at that point, if we hear them jump, I probably wouldn't go for this. You actually can hear them. They've already jumped, and then we jump way after. And that's when they get the ball past you. Thankfully, you didn't fully commit to the aerial, and you can get back in time. But, you know, we just want to be cognizant. We want to be make sure we're constantly looking at what they're doing as well. Good. Take control of that. Be aggressive. Ooh, be aggressive here, I think. I would love to see you come off this and then try to stay as you come off this wall. Try to stay on this side of the ball as it's floating down this way and then shoot this on net, right? Because realistically, the way that our opponents set up, they are in a terrible spot to be able to turn around and try to challenge this ball. You're going to have a lot of time to do what you want with this, really. So I think we can be a little bit more aggressive on this play. And actually try to shoot this overall the safer play is what you did so i i don't mind it but you know we gotta find times to be aggressive and that's looking at where their their positioning is so then we you know we go and then we try to get a beat right we try to beat this guy here so the way you attack this right you attack this like you're going to clean beat this guy. You're trying to make it so this guy doesn't touch the ball at all. And realistically, with how close they are, that's not something that is likely to happen. They're like right on top of the ball. You're not going to cleanly get it past them. So if we're going to go for this challenge at all, we need to do it in a way that's a 50, where we're going to at least make it so that, you know, we're going to have a... a a strong challenge where the ball is going to go one of these directions, right? Best case scenario, you know, it will go one of these directions. Overall, though, as Nova just said in chat, this isn't probably isn't a good challenge to go for because it's just so far on their side of the field. You're low boost as well. It's super committal. Even if you do get a 50 in this case, right? You go for the 50 and the ball bounces back and you get the dunk you want. Realistically, the ball is just going to bounce back this way and they're just going to be in a per perfect You're going to be messed up on their wall and they're just going to be chilling here and have a perfect angle right at your net anyways So this is maybe just a little bit too Too bit of a like a Uga challenge like we're just kind of going in and we'll get in there and go for it Um. But yeah, the best 50 there is no 50. Yep as Noah just said realistically Probably not a good 50 to go for. So here we go. Good. Obviously the wall is an uncomfortable spot for you, but that's okay. You'll, we'll get better at wall play as we just keep continuing to play more. Oh, that's a very, very dangerous touch. Very dangerous. Um, you know, this is again, we need to be watching where this guy is going. And he is barreling right at us here. So a chip trying to go over the top of him is risky as hell. Because he is probably going to dump crap out of you. Um, 
Obviously he doesn't, but maybe a better play is playing the ball this way. Taking a soft touch and playing the ball to the side. Because then he is probably going to barrel through where the ball is currently. And you're going to put the ball a different way. So that could be a way, a different way to go for this play. Thankfully, it does work out for you. You do chip it over him. And we should score here. Yes, we do score here. But, you know, in general, we don't want to just push the ball directly into our opponents. We want to try to get it to the sides away from them. All right. Good. I love the ball over boost there. You end up even getting boost there. Just be careful, right? Early challenge. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I don't like reversing in this scenario. So you had a great early challenge. Let's just, you know, let's just drive and get up field more. Because just get a better angle at this. Right now we have no angle to go for this in a productive way and kind of reversing back and then trying to like get our momentum going forward again you're just you're just putting yourself in a bad spot overall i think this is a, a time to retreat and try to circle around and get a better angle somewhere else because again yes we are in a just a bad spot we have no momentum and it sets up this counter attack although it's not scary um is what it is you know Again, patience, but now they're, you know, we can't expect our opponent to do the same thing every time, right? They realize they made a mistake earlier and early challenged you. So, you know, now that we recognize that they're not going to sit back in net anymore, we just have to be more careful. They will give us plenty of space still, right? They're not, it's not like they're not going to give us plenty of space. Whoa! When did I start watching Musty play? Holy. Um... Orange is giving us a lot of space, right? So it's time to set up a dribble. But we are, as my friend Nova just said, we are not Zen. We are not Musty. <laughs> know your, know your, uh, your capabilities. That was not, <laughs> that was not the play to go for. <laughs> I love, I love the effort. I love the initiative. But yeah, you kind of threw away the goal there, and now we have a one goal, you know, a one goal advantage. Uh, tricky there. I couldn't see that the, they did they did a good job of masking that this was a fake challenge. So normally we want to look at our opponents on kickoffs and, make, and see if they're actually going for the ball. Uh, obviously we I couldn't tell, so it was very uh, well masked masked. So totally okay there. Good fifty. And then oh, I love the power. I love like the idea of the shot. Right, you know. He gives you an opening, go for it. I also like that you didn't flip into it, because a lot of players are going to front flip into that, although it does kind of help you get that extra angle and oomph to the ball. It's very much more committal, whereas, you know, you're able to recover well. And then, I don't like chasing the ball like this. Okay, so, we do a good job keeping ourselves in the play, but, like, realistically, with the way that we're chasing this ball, we're going to run out of boost by the time we ever even... I don't even think we'll ever even get to this ball if we continue to chase it like this, right? This is us gravitating towards the ball because it's close. The ball doesn't have gravity. We shouldn't be, you know, going towards it all the time. We need to find a way that we can get upfield and cut off where this ball is going to be going, right? So you can chase it for a little bit. Just try to see if you can get there. But like once we see it like this, we need to cut off. We're not going to get any boost in this scenario. And by the time we do, we're in a really rough spot, right? Versus if we were just rotated back in the middle of the field and went back post, we probably have been in a good spot like we have been all game to actually save that. So, also, I can tell you're a spaz just by the way you sit there in your kickoff and flip the camera around. Just wanted to... Nothing that, you know, that doesn't add anything to the replay. Just wanted to let you know. <laughs> Anyhow, we're, we're vibing. Good control again. Ah, but we, we, we think that they're going to do the same thing. They, they've they read the hook shot. It's time to move away from it a little bit because they're not going to give us that much space anymore. And then just bad angle of pursuit here. Right? You know, we're... Oof, we're our car is like... 
facing all the way upfield and this ball is going so slow like the contact point is like here and we're trying to contact it like if it were over here right so that's just a bad angle for attacking this ball and that'll happen it's a good play from orange realistically So very committal there, right? We want to be careful. We're not doing super committal challenges. All right. Let's play this to the side. Oh, just a whiff. It's a whiff. What are you going to do? You ghost hit it a little bit too. That's, that's frustrating. You know? Yeah, that's so laggy. You, you can't, you have no control over that. You'll get better at those with playing time and more mechanics. You'll also score these with more playing time and better mechanics. And that'll come from like training packs. You can work on shooting consistency maybe a little bit. Because that'll help you score those a little bit better. Um, overall though, I, there's not much you can say about those. Good 50. Now let's score this. Beautiful. Good. Beautiful. Good patience. Patience, another good kickoff. Ah, we, again, we gotta watch our we gotta watch our opponent, right? What's our opponent doing? They're cutting this ball off. We don't really have an angle to score this. Let's get the boost and try to play for pressure now. Versus now we kind of float and now we're, you know, barely getting a 50 and it goes the other way. Now we've killed a lot of time because this ball's all the way on our half of the field. So we can control it. Ah, uh, no. And it is what it is. I think, you know, you had a lot of opportunities um, to score and do what you needed to do. Um, I think it just comes down to mechanics. I think you need a base fundamental build of your mechanics when it comes to shooting, dribbling, all those things. I think... Um, just having a base upgrade and all that is going to be very helpful for you. So that's a lot of free play. A lot of just keep playing in general. Free play, keep playing. Do some training packs that focus on shooting consistency and maybe even some dribble packs. Um, and then there's just some decision making that can be tweaked maybe when your the ball is on your opponent's side of the field. Uh, Knowing how much boost you have, don't want to be too committal where you're all the way on their side of the field and you overextend and then just give up free goals. Because that happened a lot too. So there's a difference between, you know, you have to find a way to keep pressure versus trying to just dunk them all the time or try to get for challenge, challenges all the time. So, you know, I think consistency is a big thing. You gotta, you gotta get that consistency, so... Overall, though, great replay. Thank you for sending it in, Ivy, and I hope this helps you out.